Hey everyone, Sean Savin Moo. And have you noticed that when you're laying up on a par five on a second shot short of a water hazard, and you're thinking, ah, oh, you know, it's only 180 yards there, so I'm just gonna take a smooth seven iron out, and you nut it right into the water. You ever notice why? We're gonna tell you why in this video. We're gonna have a blast with it, because we're gonna lay up on every shot, and let's see what happens when we do. So here we are at Pebble Beach, hole number one. Awesome little hole, 232 yards. That's normally my three iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit this just 175 yards with a full swing. And I'll get whatever distance I get. So full backswing, full finish, full task. Just caught that a smidgen thin. All right, there we go. So I've got a nice 210 yard shot in play. All right, let's see what Sav's got. All right, Sav, what shot are you hitting right here? You got? Five wood. Five wood, which is your 230 club? Yeah. Awesome. Hit and draw? Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like when I try to ease off, yeah. everything just falls apart. Well, okay, so that's, that's an important observation here. So notice many of you who are gonna try this, when you're easing off, you don't wanna feel like you're steering or placing the shot. It has to be full range of motion mm -hmm. and full kinetic chain engagement. You know what that feels like, right? Yeah. So it means that, hey, it's going to be a full crack at it. But yeah. if I say to you, hey, we're only going to hit this five wood 175 yards, mm. you're going to go, well, in my sleep. Mm. Because if I get my normal swing in there, it's, it's going to go like stink, right? Yeah. So let's see a full normal swing that feels very easy to execute. Nice. How did that feel? Good. Oh. That is so gorgeous. So for many of you, how about that? And that's, mm -hmm. that's uphill as well. Yeah. So for many of you, when you're thinking, I'm going to lay up, you know, my 230 club to 175, um, you'll feel the need to stick handle it or steer it. We don't want that. We don't want to decelerate. We don't want to manipulate. Okay. What we want is a full range of motion in the direction we want to start the ball. So peak speed is still out here. You're still releasing through it. Mm -hmm. you, you did a great job. Let's see what Moo got. So Moo, what club do you have for 230? I have a six iron here, so. Kinda sav, right? Kinda like, don't understand this man it's anymore. It's unfathomable. Right? Yeah. So he's not growing us. <laughs> All right, so let's see it, Moo. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. It is funny because the other morning I was asking Moo, I said, Moo, what's the, the, the absolute lowest distance or the lowest ball, uh, club head speed that you can swing with, um, you know, when, when you're full swing, full range of motion? And he's, yeah. he goes 130 miles an hour. I'm going, oh my God. So it starts at 130 miles an hour with this man right here. So that was really good. So I'm up next. Yeah. I've got 160 yards left to the pin. So normally 160, and this is uphill. So this would be about 170 and I got to play a fade. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, so 170 uphill with a fade. That would be seven iron for me. So I'm going to play a smooth seven iron. So I'm going to start it just a little left of that pine tree where the bunker is and fade it back to that flag stick. Redonkulously easy, like Sa would say. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
man, that felt so good. I just let it go. Sit. Wow. So here I am trying to lay up, Sat. Yeah. Full backswing, let it go in the direction I wanted to start it. And I'm thinking, just going to lay it up in front of the hole. And I carried that. I had 160 left. Uphill. What was my carry on that? Long. Like 175. Okay, Sav. So you have eight iron? Yeah. All right. Smooth eight. And we're, we're wow. Well, you're, you're just basically for you. If I say smooth eight laid up short of this green at 146, it's going to drive you nuts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's see a smooth eight to the flag. Okay. okay? So in, in, if, if you're playing, are you playing fade or draw on this one? Probably a fade because my typical 150 club is a nine iron. Right. So you could play a nice fade to this hole and yeah. that would take off some club for you. Yeah. Okay. And if you're short, you're short. Yeah. Okay. Good miss. Zip. No. Oh. 160. That's my usual distance with an eight. Isn't that something? Yeah. So your carry on that was 147. That's uphill, which is basically, you know, it's one club less. That's crazy. Huh. So Moo, you got 140 left. So Moo <coughs> is going to go with a gap wedge with a little fade. And his gap wedge is usually his 150 club. All right. Got a little draw instead, but you got up there in spades. And that was, you know, like a smooth gap wedge. Yeah. And there you are, just pin high right there. So, so far, we're trying to lay up and we're all pin high. Right. Pretty cool start, isn't it? So let's go to the next hole. All right. If you like what you're seeing so far, please subscribe to the channel and then, you know, give us a question or comment down below and um, give us a like too. We really appreciate it. We're playing a really, really awesome course. So the next hole we're going to play, we skipped. We're going to play the third hole, which is a gorgeous dog leg to the left. I've got 256 off the tee, which is a smooth three wood. So my three wood is usually my 275 club. So we're going to hit a nice smooth three wood there and we're playing draw. So if we can get a little bit more around the corner with a draw, that'd be great. So drawn come on draw some more oh my gosh it's way too much mm -hmm. again try to hit a smooth three wood i didn't want to hit it too hard and we're looking at 258 carry and over 270 yards total so if you're standing and this is uh this is so important. If you're standing on the tee box and you're thinking, I got to hit this as far as possible. Immediately, you're going to have a tremendous amount of tension in the body, right? Yeah. So that's the last thing that your swing needs. So if you're sitting on the tee box going, oh, I got plenty to get there. I've got a specific distance in mind and I'm going to, I feel like I need to go smoothly. You're always going to pull off some really awesome golf shots. Sab, so, what do you got? So Van has got driver fade. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's crazy. It's just a smidge oh. downhill, but you still ca it. you carry that 271. You see how silky smooth that swing was? That was incredibly smooth. Moo, what club do you have, man? I'm going to go with four iron here. Um, Sav, would you like to see Moo cut the corner here? Do it anyways. There's a lot of room out there, Moo. I mean, it's a perfect, perfect hole for you to cut the corner. Yeah. Um, 
If you want to try that, let's do two. We're going to hit the four iron, the 250, because that's always fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I want to see you hit the driver on this hole. Okay. Sit. Sit. What's All right. <laughs> What's the distance on that? 265. That's uh, not fair. Yeah. All right. So I lined Moo up right at the flag stick. It's going right over the corner of the trees right here. And it uh, looks like you need 280 to get to the fairway on that line right there, Moo. Yeah, that was a good spot. All right. Light work. It sounded pretty good. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> yeah, all right. Had a lot of backspin on that. That's all right. 328 down there. I have 150 yards left, and the pin is tucked back right. So I'm going to aim a little left of this flag stick. And if it stays left, I'm good. And if I'm able to fade it back, I'm good. And it's uh, because it's a little bit downhill. So let's have a look. So smooth to the left of this intermediate point. See ya. There we go. How about that? So Sav is hitting wedge in there. What's, what's uh... I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. So you're hitting gap wedge, which would normally be your normal distance here. Yeah. The thing about when you're hitting wedges, they're coming in very high. The descent angle is very high. So if you lower the green further, it's only going to come down. So you're not gaining a lot of distance with the wedges. Yeah. You would gain a lot more distance, though, with the mid and long irons, however. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So keep that in mind. So smooth gap wedge. You're coming in with a draw, obviously. Very nice. Back. Uh, I hit that kind of long. So, Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo. 71 yards. N no sense in laying up. Just go for it. The thing with Moo and his wedges mm -hmm. is because he's so strong, he, he, his swing breaks down with the okay. chippy wedges. So did you feel, uh, do you typically feel at this distance, Moo, yeah. that you decelerate? Yeah, because you, you kind of, right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm too, too scared that I'm in it too long. So yeah. this happens to a lot of you out there, right? Yeah. So the key here is to, Goldilocks the backswing you need to hit this shot, yeah. but to feel like you're always accelerating. Okay. So when you always accelerate, a really easy task for that is this is a dandelion in disguise. Yeah. You're cutting through the dandelion, of course, at all, you know, so you're always moving through the ball. Yeah. So show me a, pr a practice swing where the backswing would be way too short. So right now, if you take it back that far, yeah. you'd have to shove on it. Show me a backswing that'd be way too long where you'd feel the need to decelerate, right? Yeah. Show me one in between where you feel like you're going to have to accelerate through the stem. How'd that feel? That one was the, that, that one's the one. So it felt like a gentle acceleration through the stem. Yeah. There you go. Okay, almost. So, what was your task? Uh, Were you cutting a stem? I got nervous mid swing. That was going to be too long. But yeah, I didn't. Just stay on task. Stay on task, yeah. Right? Yeah. There it is. That was pretty. Nice shot. Okay? Yeah. So, 
if you're worried about hitting it long, yeah. then you're thinking about something you don't want. You're going to get tense. Yeah. You can't swing from there. No, you can't. But notice when the second shot, I said, just stay on your task. You're cutting the stem. Yeah. And then I heard that nice friction with the sole of the club to the grass yeah. and the ball met the face beautifully. And look at that golf shot. Yeah. That's awesome. So we highly recommend that you get out there in one of your practice rounds, go out and play a few holes, lay up to the front of the green, but with the club that you would normally use to get to the flag stick. Yeah. You'll get to the flag stick. Enjoy that. See you next week.